All right, so this was not the video I planned on doing. Um, <laughs> I actually shot a video out at the range today that I was going to post today. But um, so <clears throat> I was out at the range shooting and I'm about 2,000 rounds in on this Colt and it dies. And I'm like, ugh. So I, I'm pretty sure I know what the problem is. I wanted to wait and get it on camera and, and take it apart and stuff. I'm pretty sure the gas rings are fried on it. Uh, so I have basically this whole thing happened over and, and I have everything recorded. Um, so at the end of this video, I think I'm going to put in the range footage, but it may be rather long. So you can stay for that if you want at the end. If not, that's cool too. So basically what was going on, I've had issues with this gun ever since I got it. Um, I think maybe after like the first five, 800 rounds where I would get failed to lock backs every now and then, just every once in a blue moon. In fact, and then I think the last rain session I had, um, I had some lower powered ammo that I was really having issues with. Uh, and so I take, took the Colt uh, H2 buffer out and I stuck a Spikes Tactical T1 buffer in and that solved the issues. Um, and I was like, all right, well maybe, you know, just with the lower powered ammo, I got to use an H1 buffer, whatever. Uh, I went back, came home and I cleaned this thing. I took it apart, cleaned it. I, I was trying to make sure that I maintenance this thing uh, but apparently I think it's been like five or 600 rounds since I cleaned it last and I didn't realize that. So I came home, completely stripped everything and I'm going to put some pictures into the carbon that was on this. So the carbon that was in this gun kind of reminded me of black powder fouling. It was so thick. In fact, it was even, even on the lower, on the bolt catch, it was built up. I actually scraped saw a bunch of carbon out of the um, locking lugs uh, there was just a ridiculous amount of buildup in the gun i don't know why i mean I, oh you know i mean i know these things are dirty and they they crap where they eat but i'm kind of wondering if my lube isn't kind of gumming things up a little bit um right now i'm using this g96 and i've already decided before today happened that I was going to ditch that and it's almost empty anyways and I'm gonna go with slip 2000 and you'll hear me talk about that uh, in the range footage because I thought it was a lubrication issue because I had taken the bolt out when I started having these problems I took the bolt out and I'm the outside of the carrier was wet but the inside of the actual bolt was dry and that was only after I don't know maybe 100 rounds um, so I took it back and I had put Lucas oil on it because I carry Lucas, uh, CLP in my, the extreme duty stuff in my, um, range bag just for lube. Uh, and you guys know, I heck, I've been criticized a lot in my videos in the comments for over lubing my guns. So I don't run them dry. I may run them dirty, but they're always lubricated. Um, but Anyway, so, and the reason I'm, I'm talking about the, I didn't want to do that. The reason I'm talking about the carbon buildup uh, is because I read that carbon can, um, get this out, carbon can uh, lead to um, the gas, let's see if I can't. The gas rings wearing out a little sooner than anticipated. Now I only have 2,000 rounds on this, and I'm actually pretty disappointed about this. So let, let me show you why I'm pretty sure it's the gas rings. This, this fucking thing keeps falling. But it literally, like, just, it won't open up by itself. I've seen some of them. I did a lot of research. I saw a lot of them when the gas rings were toasted. It wouldn't just do that, and then whenever you pick it up, the bolt would just fall back. So it doesn't just, the bolt won't open, but, I mean, with no pressure, I can't even just write down. So, pretty sure it's the gas rings. 
yeah, it's the gas rings. So let's pull this out here and take this apart. I shot about two, three hundred rounds today. So nothing crazy. Well, I was planning on shooting more, but yeah. Okay, so I thought, oh yeah, look, right there. Yep, completely gone. It's broken. Okay. I thought maybe, because when I looked in here, you could kind of see in through these ports here, it looked like something was off. And sure enough, that gas ring is busted. Um, actually, there's a piece of it on my thumb. So my question I'm going to ask you guys is should I, well I'm going to replace the gas rings because I actually keep in my little M16 cleaning pouch, I actually keep AR-15 parts, spare parts and I have gas rings, firing pins, cam pins and I have, I think I have two ejector sets with springs and everything and you can see there's a ton of cotter pins in there so I do keep these on hand because of stuff like this but my question is I was really debating about replacing this bolt with a BCM or something um, now I have this guy I still have this but I really don't want a chrome bolt carrier group in this and this didn't really impress me that much, so I mean I'm gonna keep it as a spare in case of an emergency I need it. It I do have a hundred rounds through it, it does work fine. But um you can go watch the video on that if you want. The other thing, other reason here is dude, the Colt MPC mark is completely fucking gone. It was very faint to begin with, but it's not it's gone completely. Sorry about my dogs, I don't know if you can hear that or not. But the MPC is gone, completely gone, and that kind of irritates me. Uh, well, I guess we'll just show this bolt off a little bit. But everything else on the bolt looks okay. I didn't see. So there's a little bit of wear there. And I guess that's the only one. Yeah, that's the only one, and that's pretty normal. That that happened at about a thousand rounds, I think, twelve hundred rounds, and it hasn't gotten any worse at all, like none. So, <clears throat> but I am, like I said, I'm just curious if I should should I grab another bulk hero group? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace these pins. We'll put this back together and we'll run it. But I am going to order a BCM bulk hero group to just have a you know case. This keeps giving me issues uh, because I, I'm kind of worried that there's some other issues going on with this. Um, I did notice when I put this back together, it feels kind of rough when I spin it. And it felt when I cleaned it and I, I put the bolt back in and I was, you know, turning it the, so the, the hole would line up for the cam pin, I noticed that and I'm like, that's kind of weird. So I'm wondering if there's something dimensionally off on this bolt. Because like I said, I had issues with the bolt not locking open. And I thought it was mags. And I actually have a video on that. Um, I think it's called How to Jam a Colt AR-15. And I switched mags and it seemed to have gone away. I switched mags and I also added lube. Um, and it went away. And then... Like I said, over the next thousand, well, 800 rounds, I think I had two or three fail to lock backs, which I was going to talk about in a couple months during my 2,500 round two year review. Um, but since this came up, I'm talking about it now. So were the, were these gas rings, are these gas rings subpar from the factory? And were they having issues at like, you know, 800 rounds? Because that's possible. I, I did see that. Um, I actually saw a couple. I saw a BCM bolt carry group. And I saw. 
think it was just the BC, one of the BCMs. And then there was obviously a bunch of cheap bulk hero groups. I think there was one guy that had a BCM bolt that had issues with his gas rings at about 1,400 rounds, 1,500 rounds. And then there was a guy, there was a bunch of cheap ass, you know, Air 15s with, with bolt issues with, at like 700 rounds, something stupid. Uh, now, I do know where the gas rings are. I mean, they're a wearable item, disposable item, so it's not a huge deal. Um, but like I said, the MPC is gone. I guess I'll just keep testing it with this, see what happens. Um, but anyways, campaign looks good. I mean, there's some wear there. Not a big deal. Sorry, I wasn't quite centered. But everything else looks good. I have campaigns. Uh, I really thought I was going to get 6,000 rounds through this before I had any issues. Uh, I believe that is what the TDP states is. These bolts have to go five, 6,000 rounds with no issues. Obviously, this didn't. Um, that's a little annoying. Uh, but I do know shit happens, you know. I also know that Mac, Military Arms Channel, had a new Colt. And he literally got it uh, home and was doing a video took the bulk hair apart to clean it or just talk about it and the gas rings just fell the fuck off so that's not good so i don't know if whoever's colt colt's using for the gas rings if they're just sub you know a little subpar if they have some issues i'm not quite sure let me know what you guys think as far as the gas rings issue is 2000 rounds um is 2000 rounds too short for needing to replace gas rings uh possibly you know i possibly needed to replace these sooner um, you know, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I, I really think that I should have gotten 6,000 rounds, at least 4,000 rounds without needing to replace these. I do know, I, I did a lot of research. Some people were saying anything from, uh, 4,000 to 10,000 rounds was the, like, I think three thirty five hundred was like the minimum that you should be able to get on this on the <clears throat> gas rings and like i said expected to have issues it is a maintenance it is a weapon it's you know i shoot it a lot um i do shoot this thing a lot and i i do get that you know wear items no big deal i just thought you know maybe i should be getting more than that so let me know what you think anyways um if you want to stay tuned for the shooting footage Go ahead, and I'm going to talk more about that if you're interested. If not, thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I don't know what the hell is going on, but keep getting malfunctions. She can, I don't know if you can really see in there. Let me. Keep getting fucking malfunctions like that. I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm going to change back to P mags here. Uh, Maybe these fucking Lancer mags are acting up on me. I don't know. All right. Safety's on. 
Let's go switch over to P mags and see what happens. Back to my GI mags. All right, well, this is interesting. I just keep getting these fucking malfunctions. I don't, I really don't understand what's going on. Let me see if I can get it on camera. No matter what, I switch to the PMAG. Unless it's this AAC ammo. Um, I don't know. That's weird. I mean, we are about 2,000 rounds on this weapon. There's either a gassing at, uh, it's got to be, there's, there's a gassing issue. Either the ammunition's underpowered or something's wrong with the rifle. Very interesting. Let's go do a bolt test once. All right. So the only thing I can think to, I just check the gas rings quick and see. I really hope it ain't the rifle. I guess we'll see. Something tells me I'll have to run home and grab another rifle. All right. Let's just see if it, it's holding its own weight. I. I just cleaned this thing, like literally, yesterday. Cleaned and oiled it. All right, let's try this one more time. Uh, this is gonna, this is gonna suck if it's either the rifle or the ammunition. It's one of them. But uh, I was trying to do a thousand round review on this AAC and I don't know if it's the ammo or the rifle. It's gonna piss me off more if it's the rifle. But I do have a lot of this AAC for the testing. There's definitely something going on with it. Maybe it is the rifle. It's not holding the bolt open. I don't know if you can see. See the bolt is locked open, but not, not really. We can go back one more notch. Now I have had this issue with this rifle uh, uh, every once in a while. Um, it's not the mag, I know that. Sorry. Interesting. All right, so I'm just gonna put some more lube on the on the rifle. I feel like there's enough lube on this bolt. But I also know that I'm using the G96 and I don't know if this is on film or not. I, I feel like that I'm having issues with that. So I actually ordered Slip 2000 uh, and that's coming and, and we're going to switch over to that. I'm going to add some more lube to this and we're going to keep shooting and see if we have any more problems. 
doesn't look like it's dry. Well, the, the inside of the bolt looks dry and then up top here looks dry. Like I said, I just lubed this thing, uh, I don't know, yesterday. I just cleaned and lubed it. So, and the inside of the bolt's completely dry, the inside in there. So, that G90, we'll see, let's see. Let's see what happens here. This is just, I just have this stuff, this extreme CLP Lucas. It's not my favorite stuff, but throw some in there, leave the bolt a little bit. If this fixes the gun, then I'm not sure, honestly. Because like I said, I, I don't know that it should need a whole lot more lube, but Well, you saw I lubed it up. These are both the mags I had issues with. I know it's not the mags. At least, I know it ain't this mag. Uh, I'm still testing these Lancers, so. All right, well, let's see what happens. Hopefully that fixed it. If that did fix it, that'll make an interesting video. open correctly so all right lock the bolt open all right so i'll talk about this for a second <clears throat> very interesting um so i've been having some issues with this gun off and on and uh i'm using the g96 lubricant and i haven't really had too much issues with it uh until I got this thing and uh shit so we definitely have a gassing issue I put the H2 buffer in, back in the cold H2 buffer. I tried a carbine buffer. I had an H1 buffer in it. So I still have a couple rounds of this ammo. That's, yeah. I think there's, um, I think there's a gassing issue with the gun. Uh, not sure what that might be. I'm going to run home and grab my other Colt. We're going to see what's up with this. That's very upsetting. Very upsetting. Might be getting a BCM. <laughs> 